good morning students other important techniques of corrosion control is corrosion inhibitors corrosion inhibitors are the chemical substance which are used to reduce the corrosion so it is a simple method to reduce the corrosion many types of corrosion controls are there we have seen the cathodic protection sacrificial anodic or impressed current cathodic protection techniques we have seen also paint is also one of the important technique to control the corrosion and next one is electroplating electroplating is a some base metal which is uh, uh, continuously corroding it can be uh, stopped by using the noble metals it can be plated over the base metal that is electroplating these are the important techniques to control the corrosion but one of the most important technique is corrosion inhibitors inhibitors are the substance chemical substance which is used to reduce the corrosion that is called as uh, corrosion inhibitors so what are corrosion inhibitors the substance uh, uh, which are used to reduce the corrosion is called as corrosion inhibitors there are different types of corrosion inhibitors that is uh, anodic inhibitors cathodic inhibitors and vapor phase inhibitors these are the important three types of inhibitors anodic cathodic and vapor phase inhibitors anodic inhibitors you know very well where the corrosion will occur at anode and what what happen oxidation occurs at that what is oxidation it is a loss of electron that means metal lose the electron it forms a metal ion so at anode what happen metal ion is formed when we spray the anodic inhibitors on the metal surface what happen this inhibitors reacts with the newly formed metal ion to form a stable compound it will be adsorbed on the metal surface to stop the corrosion this is the technique at anodic protection that is a, a, a anodic inhibitors anodic inhibitors are the inhibitors which reduce the corrosion occurs at anode that means anode that is a newly formed metal ion it reacts with the inhibitors it forms a stable compound it stops the corrosion that is a uh, method of anodic inhibitors anodic inhibitors examples that is a um, uh, oxygen rich compounds especially the molybdates uh, chromates nitrates phosphates these are all used as a, some uh, most of the transition elements with high oxygen content is uh, acts as a anodic inhibitors these are the anodic inhibitors next cathodic inhibitors cathodic inhibitors already we have seen in the wet corrosion there are two different types of corrosion occurs at the cathode two different types of reaction occurs at the cathode depending upon the environment if the environment is acidic hydrogen evolution occurs at the cathode this is the reaction 2h plus plus 2 electron gives hydrogen so cathode you know gain of electrons so when the electron uh, uh, remove from the anode it will be absorbed by the cathode so if the acidic environment means definitely there is a hydrogen ion is present it absorbed the electrons it forms the hydrogen gas it is liberated in the cathodic part so the cathodic reaction there is evolution of hydrogen occurs at the cathode the environment is acidic the environment is basic or slightly neutral what type of reaction occurs means that means hydroxide ion formation occurs so here the uh, cathodic corrosion occurs at the cathode uh, corrosion occurs at the cathode that is a hydrogen evolution occurs at the cathode it can be controlled we can reduce the corrosion so how can we uh, reduce the hydrogen evolution occurs at the cathode means by using these inhibitors amines mercaptans urea and thiourea these are all used to reduce the hydrogen diffusion occurs at the cathode the hydrogen evolution occurs at the cathode so when we use this inhibitors it reduce the rate of diffusion of hydrogen ion to the cathode so ultimately the diffusion of hydrogen ion is uh, reduced means hydrogen gas evolution is also reduced we can reduce the corrosion or we can improve the over voltage of hydrogen hydrogen evolution increasing the over voltage of hydrogen we can reduce the uh, corrosion occurs at the cathode for example mercury arsenic antimony uh, these are all the uh, acts as a cathodic inhibitors which deposit as a film at the cathodic area we can reduce the hydrogen evolution occurs at the cathode so either reducing the rate of diffusion of hydrogen ion in the cathode or by increasing the over voltage of hydrogen we can reduce the corrosion occurs at the cathode and next is if the sol if the environment is neutral or slightly alkaline the environment is acidic hydrogen evolution occurs 
we can reduce the hydrogen evolution uh, the, the corrosion will be stopped or in a neutral solution oxygen absorption or hydrogen hydroxide ion formation will occur either we are eliminating the oxygen in the environment or we are uh, uh, we, uh, we will stop the hydroxide ion formation occurs in the cathode so first by eliminating oxygen what are the inhibitors used means sodium sulfide or hydrazine is added sodium sulfide is added means it absorb the oxygen it forms sodium sulfate it is a uh, soluble as uh, that is a precipitate formation occurs it can be removed easily by filtration or when we add the hydrazine when it absorb the oxygen nitrogen and water is formed nitrogen is inert it, uh, it is uh, it does not cause for the corrosion water uh, is also formed it can be removed easily so these are the one method by eliminating oxygen what are the inhibitors added sodium sulfate or hydrazine or by eliminating hydroxide ion formation occurs means by adding zinc or magnesium salts uh, it reacts with the hydroxide to form a soluble insoluble hydroxides are formed it can be removed easily we can produce we can protect the metal surface from the corrosion so these are the method next one is vapor phase inhibitors nowadays the vapor phase inhibitors plays a vital role uh, in mainly especially in the containers uh, when we are uh, carrying many uh, big equipments uh, through the uh, containers either shipping or uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, airways we can use the uh, uh, containers so this containers uh, we can use the vapor phase inhibitors just uh, Uh, spray the vapor phase inhibitors on the container if there is any slight damage occurs in the containers due to corrosion what happen it damage the um, uh, uh, products which are present inside the containers so you should avoid the um, corrosion occurs on the containers that's why we are spraying the vapor phase inhibitors it readily form on protective layer to avoid the corrosion It is used to prevent the corrosion occurs in the storage pack storage containers and uh, packing materials and sophisticated equipments these are all uh, should be protected by using the vapor phase inhibitors example dicyclohexane ammonium uh, nitrate or benzotriazole these are uh, used as a vapor phase inhibitors so that's all about the inhibitors inhibitors are also play important role to protect the corrosion uh, to protect the metal surface metals from the corrosion thank you students